Here is 7 times 6. Understanding how numbers can be taken apart and put back together usefully is one of the most important mathematical foundations. If someone doesn't know the product but does understand that 7 can be broken apart, then suddenly this idea can open up. Let's break it apart into 5 plus 2. And now we can consider the smaller parts. 5 times 6 is equal to 30, and 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And altogether, this is equal to 42. Of course, we could break the 7 apart in many different ways, or we could also break the 6 apart in many different ways. Let's use 3 plus 3 as an example. 7 times 3 is equal to 21, 7 times 3 is equal to 21, and altogether this is equal to 42. This example question is from day 37, and in this video we'll look at the day 7 routine, which is breaking factors apart. The day 7 routine always begins with an example that's broken into four steps. Students can see the original problem, how a number was broken apart, the partial products, and finally the product. There is space to respond in writing to the example, then three questions where a factor has already been broken apart, followed by three questions where students will decide which factor to break apart and what numbers to break it apart into, and finally two open-ended questions where students will create their own model. You'll find this routine on all of the days after chapter 2 that end with a 7. If you have the book, you may have already noticed two things. One is that the complexity increases across the chapters, and the other is that it encourages students to work with challenging ideas right away. And of course, students are encouraged to think flexibly about which factors to break apart. Let's take a look at some of the tips and strategies for using the Day 7 routine. Number one, encourage students to take their time. If they rush, they may not think about how numbers can be taken apart in many different ways. Number two, think about usefulness. There are some combinations of numbers that are much more useful than others, so it's important that students consider which combinations of numbers work well for them. Number three is simply to use colors to represent parts of the product. Using two different colors can be very useful. Number four is very important. Let students talk about their ideas. As students talk about their ideas, they will learn more about their own ideas. And number five, remind students that they can use this strategy all the time. This is not limited to simply this page. This is a big idea that can be used in many different ways.